Here is a, a brief overview of the Linhof Super Technica 5 6x9. To start with, I've just sat it next to a 5x4 Linhof Master Technica just to give you an idea of the difference in sizes. So we'll pop that to one side for the moment. This is an early version of the Mark V. It is what we call the gun, gun metal grey, um, and a later version is all black. Equally, there was a slightly earlier version that was simply a metal top housing that didn't have this elevating section in the roof, which I will get to in a moment. First, let's have a look at the rear. The 6.9 Linhof cameras all have a unique fitting on the rear, this circular fitting here, that accepts the Linhof circular roll film backs. So 5.4 graph lock fit roll film backs will not work on this camera. So they simply sit on and the same lever locks it into place and they will rotate freely through 360 degrees. And we'll pop the ground glass back, back on. Um, worth mentioning that also the folding focusing hood that detaches on most of the Mark V's Occasionally the early ones can be seen where this door does not detach. Um, it would only mean that you would not be able to fit some of the accessories like 6.9 mirror reflexes, etc. if it doesn't detach. And so let's have a look inside the 6.9. There is um, a single track extension forward for longer lenses. And very importantly, there is a rear positioning of the tracks, which I just pressed these two levers here to release it, and you'll notice it clicks in place there. Now when we have a wide angle lens, we would bring out to these stops, let's set these up here, these wide angle infinity stops, we would then drop the bed, we would use the tilt mechanism to tilt the standard back, and we would then push the top track to its rear positioning and that is actually the position for a 65 and you can now see the importance of the lid in the roof which then will allow you greater rise without restriction. It is only the wide angle that requires um, this setup for infinity. So we'll pop it back together the 6.9 Technicas um, have a rise movement and as I say the tilt forward and back and they also have a cross movement but they don't have a swing movement on the front standard like the 5x4 does. Significant difference is under the base wall. So on a 5 4 Technica we have a single cam for the rangefinder, one cam per lens. Here we have a triple cam system. Um, so usually of a wide angle standard and long focus construction. Um, generally this is a 65, 100 and 180, could be a 58, 120, 210. Um, it's worth pointing out at this point um, that with the long lenses you must take care that the long lens you choose really has a rear diameter no wider than 60 mil. This throat is 62, so to get a rear element in, 60 absolute maximum for your long lenses. So back to the cam system, you'll see there's an arrow here on the side of the body, and depending on our positioning, which we would undo this screw and turn, you would point the focal length you require to use the rangefinder to the arrow and then re-tighten down and push back. The focal length lens you have then chosen appears between the body and the track, the 65. You would then pull out to the designated infinity stops, 65, and your rangefinder would then focus from infinity forward. To close the body, it's quite important that we give it a really good push into the body so that what you're ensuring happens is that you disengage the internal spring from the edge of the cam. If I was to um, leave it 
slightly forward, you can see that this spring is still engaged and the body will not close properly. So a good push and you can see now there's a gap between the cam and the internal spring. And then it's simply a case of just pushing the two, two uh, body arms down and closing it up. 